Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to share some spring decorating with you. Um, today is the first day where I'm gonna put out all the spring decor that I got just recently. I posted a little haul, um, or kind of a big haul. <laughs> I feel like I got a lot of stuff. Um, I'll have posted it before this video, so if you haven't seen that yet, go back and watch that to see everything that I got. But I thought it would be kind of fun to share the process with you in some of the rooms and some of the things I do with the decor. So I thought we'd get started today. Um, I'm wearing my like spring green sweater in honor of the occasion. And today I thought I would work on my coffee bar. So I have this little tiered tray, um, which you see here. And I thought it would be the perfect um, place to create kind of like a little themed tiered tray slash vignette type of thing. Um, it doesn't actually have to be that functional with like coffee because we have a different place for our coffee mugs. Um, but I'm just gonna make it cute and put all the decor on it. And I am super excited because the theme that I chose for it is a Peter rabbit bunny theme um i thought that would be super cute as an idea for just like around easter time um when i went to home goods in their like coffee and i don't know like um, mugs and disposable dishware section they had these cute little peter rabbit napkins and um, disposable coffee cups but i didn't love the color palette however it sort of started like um, all my thoughts swirling around in my head of like how cute that would be, but I wanted to make it a little more pastel. Um, so I like gathered up a bunch of different things and just like have an idea of how I'm gonna do it. I haven't like even tried anything yet on here, so you'll see it very organically as I try and figure out where everything goes. But I'm gonna show you um, all the stuff that I got um, over on my table uh, for this little tear tray. So I'll show you what I have. Okay, so like I said, I was super inspired by the idea of a little Peter Rabbit themed um, little coffee bar slash tiered tray. I love Beatrix Potter and classic Beatrix Potter, and I uh, love the story of the naughty little bunny. He reminds me so much of my little cat Milo, who is always getting into what he doesn't be long getting into. He is very mischievous, just like Peter Rabbit. You'll probably see him hanging out with me while I put this all together. Yep, right on cue. There he is. Hey, buddy. Are you like Peter Rabbit? Yes. Kindred spirits. Um, okay, so that big bunny over there, that is actually going somewhere else, but I have some little um, fake leaves. We'll see if we use any of those. But so basically, obviously, I need a Peter Rabbit. Like I said, I got this little guy off of the Amazon. I think he's really cute for like 10 bucks. Um, really soft, really good quality. Look at his cute little coat. And um, this, I remembered I had this. My mother-in-law got this for us um, several years ago for the day. Hopefully that will have children. We don't yet, but um, I remembered that we have that. And I love the tale of Peter Rabbit and all the Beatrix Potter um, stories. I think they are so adorable. And if we do have a baby, um, one day I've always wanted to do a classic Beatrix Potter, um, nursery with all these like vintagey, pretty soft pastel colors. All the illustrations are so beautiful. Yeah, it's just so cute. I love it so much. So I was so excited about this idea. Um, and so I remembered I had that. Look, he looks just like him with his little blue coat. And I got these little um, glitter eggs. They're like vase fillers or scatter eggs from Pier 1. If you look at my um, haul, like I said, I was so excited by the colors because that's perfect. All the colors that I love, like a blush, light purple, and the green. And I was so excited because look, it matches so perfectly with the book. I just thought that was meant to be so exciting and I found this cute little cabbage slash kale it's actually kale but I thought it was perfect kind of like cabbage for Peter Rabbit um, at uh, Kirkland's that I'm gonna put on there and I found these cute little carrots so I got so much cute stuff and I think it's all gonna pull together very nicely I got these little um, tulips that I think I'm gonna put on there I may or may not use this little moss bunny have a little pastel Hershey's Kisses um, in those pretty colors that I might put in a little jar on there. And this is a sign, which I thought tied in perfectly with my little Peter Rabbit theme um, that I will put above the coffee bar. So let's see what I use and get started in the process. So this is the coffee bar that I'm working with. 
I created this um, a couple years ago when we moved in and I still love it. It functions really well for us. I don't know if I'm gonna do too much to this side of it, but I may put um, the coffee in a little Easter theme jar. Um, I love these Harney and Sons pastel tins for tea. I think they're so pretty and I love pastels all year round, but it's like perfect for Easter, especially and to tie in all those colors. So I love that those are those pretty um, Eastery colors, especially this green. That's so like the green that I'm going with. Um, so yeah, I think those are really pretty to leave out as well. Um, so yeah, the main part that I'm gonna be working on though is this tiered tray. Just make it as cute as I can with the decor and we'll get started and I will share with you the process. So you will see very organically like the process that I go through to try and like figure everything out um, when I put together decor in different areas because I haven't even pre-thought of how I want this to lay out on here and it's going to take like just a bunch of trial and error and that's just kind of like the process so it'll I'll probably speed this up because it'll take a little while um, on the video I'll probably like fast forward it a couple um, times but anyways you'll see uh, the trial and error that goes into decorating a tiered tray. See what we have here. That book's so cute. I just love it so much. Okay, and I'll take his tags off and everything when I'm done. I feel like he might go really cute on top here. We'll see how this all comes together and I'll take all the tags off when I'm done. <laughs> adorable little guy from uh, last year or the year before that I got at Michael's this little bunny sleeping in the cabbage is not so cute too I think I'll maybe keep this on here as well because it goes with that whole theme <laughs>
Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be Okay, so I think I like where I have it, but I'm thinking of taking these off because it's not going to actually serve as good of a purpose on here. I might just fill up the back with some greenery um, and then call it good. So let's see. We'll have to let her go. She will never know, na na. Never know, na na. She will never know. Like she stole my heart Without knowing she did We have our sweet little Peter Rabbit bunny With all his little carrots We've got the tea That coordinates nicely with the colors Little cabbage And the little hidden Glitter eggs back there And then just a cute little detail that people can't tell Unless they're looking up close Is we got a sweet little sleeping bunny in the cabbage like a little peter rabbit back there if you find him in the garden i think that's so cute and he fit perfectly in that mug um after i put some paper towels in there so he's really secure in there then we got this tea here just the canister is showing it's like pretty with the pastel colors some greenery little eggs a mug full of glitter eggs, a little hidden egg back there, and the tulips peeking out over here. Uh oh. I have to make this a little secure later. Ooh, it's a little tricky back there. Might add some more greenery to keep it all secure so things aren't falling. Okay, so we got those cute little green eggs that Corbin made. Yeah, it's so messy. He's so silly. Okay, the little book here. Peter Rabbit book and a little carrot for an accent. And yeah, that little pink egg. Maybe I'll turn it this way because that little bottom of it is a little messed up. There we go. Nestled there in the greenery. I think that turned out so cute. I'm also gonna put that sign up there and then I'll show you guys. So I'll be back when I do that. Okay, so I hung that little cottontail confectionery sign up there. I think it's so cute. And I felt like this area had way too much space um, to account for, so I put this little roses thing up here. And I feel like that looks a lot better. I think I'm gonna move this a little bit in so that it goes a little bit over there. I'm always, uh, the wall hangings are like a tiny bit hard to line up with the coffee bar. So I'm always trying to like kind of straighten it in there. I just used these little push pins to hang that up too. Those are so easy um, to hang up little like signs like that. Okay, so I put one more of these leaf sprigs back there to kind of fill in the dead space and make everything more secure. So I think that's perfect. And then I'm going to hide that little egg there now. Maybe I'll have it sticking out a little more. So I'm gonna go in and make all those things more secure like I was saying in a little bit here, but right now I'm really happy with how the tree turned out. I feel like it's so cute. A little sign above and I got a little Milo 
hanging out in his little box here. Hi, buddy. And I think I'm going to, um, it turns out that it is pretty straight, the bar kind of centered in between all the um, signs, the gallery wall above it. So I'm gonna work on this little area over here now and I might keep that out over here, um, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with everything else. So you will see how I figure out this little area here and what I come up with. It's been four weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for Wonder if you found what you're looking for I hope it's not too late I want you back here with me We never should have said It's better this way I'd rather be with you Than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me Say that you won't go I can't cope without you And I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't go It's been so cold without you here We barely said goodbye before you disappear It's been so cold without you Back at it today I had finished it um, this tear tray to where I thought I liked it but I had a few ideas and that's kind of how my process tends to be to where I like I like it at first and then I'm like I don't know what about this or that let's try a couple different things so um, I got a few things at the craft store the other day and this afternoon I am back at working on it and we'll see um, what it adds to it and I'll share the process with you guys And if you hear that in the background, it's my washing machine going. So I thought I'm gonna flip this around and show you guys um, a little bit of my thought process and the stuff that I got. So I had an idea to make it a little more, this is how it's looking right now and I think it's really cute, but I wanted to make it a little bit more garden theme, like obvious, like it's a garden. Um, and so I was browsing the craft store because I had some ideas. I knew, first off, I'll start with this. I knew this is what I wanted. I wanted to try and find a mini watering can to kind of really go with that garden theme. And they had them in a bunch of different colors at um, Hobby Lobby in the perfect size. So I'm so excited about that. I got this pretty light blue color. And then they had um, these little tubs in the same colors. And I'm going to use this kind of like a planter. And I got these... Um, little they're actually napkin rings but I thought it'd be cool to get these because then I could reuse them for something else after like as napkin rings but I'm gonna do it like this is the little planter and these are the little like hydrangeas growing in it and they all fit and so I love that I got those and then this little picket fence which I thought was so perfect it's not quite as tall as I wish it was but that's um, what I could find and I was like yes that's perfect because I want it to be like it's behind a picket fence and I think I'm gonna make a little sign that says um, no rabbits allowed or something um, like from the storybook of Mr. McGregor's garden I'm gonna have to see exactly what he said if it's like no bunnies or no rabbits um, so I thought that would be super cute so I will see how this all fits and show you guys the process <music>
so I'm making this little no rabbit sign that I'm gonna put on this little stick and I just stuck a chalkboard label that I wrote the no rabbits on on one of my like business cards and so that it's a little bit thicker and I'm gonna cut it out and then tape it to this you make me understand And now it's time for the final reveal of my Easter and Peter Rabbit themed tear tray and coffee bar. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Um, I love how it turned out and let me know in the comments if you liked version one or two of the tear tray better. I'd love to know what you think.
for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed the spring decorate with me definitely subscribe if you're new and you enjoy home decor and organization content and i will see you guys in my next video hope you have a great day bye